Hi there, I'm Alex Tracy, Director of Customer Success at CrowdScout. Welcome to the second installment of our Power User Series. Today, we'll learn how to create and deploy a web form. I will show you things like how to use conditional logic, the ability to display questions to your audience based on their answers to previous questions, different ways to style your web forms with CSS, and how to automatically send emails to people who respond to your form. Let's dive in. We'll start by creating a web form for a fictional organization, the Bayou Conservation Trust. Navigate to a toolkit tab and select web form. Begin by naming your form and then click on Create. The Bioconservation Trust wants to create a petition in support of a bio cleanup effort. To accomplish this, we are going to build a web form that can be used for gathering signatures. We'll use conditional logic in our web form to organize submissions into two groups, people who support our effort and people who don't. Conditional logic allows you to configure your form to show or hide questions based on responses to previous questions. This allows your supporters to answer questions only relevant to their previous responses and allows your organizations to collect meaningful data that you can immediately take action on. First, we'll add a single select field that will say, will you help us in our efforts to clean up the bayou? and the answers to this question will be yes or no. We'll also make it into a required field in order to ensure that this question is answered prior to your submission. Then click on Done. For respondents who answered yes, we also want to know why. So we'll create another question called, why does cleaning up the bayou matter to you? I'll select a long text, type in the field label, and then click on Done. Then we can add in our conditional logic so the question only appears if the respondent selects yes to the first question. Click on the box, click on Add Conditional Logic, select the previous question, and then select yes. Then click on Done. We've now created our conditional logic for the web form and are almost finished. If you wish to collect any additional information on your respondents, you may also want to add in some profile fields. CrowdScout offers hundreds of out-of-the-box options to choose from. You can even create your own custom fields. For this web form, I'm only going to collect names and email addresses, and I'm going to make the email fields required in order to submit the form. Doing this will allow us to collect new email addresses of respondents who are not already part of our email list, and then send them additional follow-up appeals. Click on the box, click on Required, and then select Done. If you choose to send a follow-up email, you can set it up through CrowdScout's email app. We'll cover deploying a follow-up email in just a minute. Now that we set up our form, let's get ready to deploy our landing page. There are many ways to customize your web form directly within the platform. You can change the column layout, label position, and use CSS to change the look and feel of your web form. To start, move to the Design tab on the right side of your screen. For our web form, I'm going to change a copy of the Submit button to read Sign On Now. I will scroll down and change the text here. Depending on the use case of your web form, you may also want to customize a copy of your Submit button. Then, I'm going to display the button in the center of the web form by going into Advanced Theming and adding in a small bit of CSS in the CSS editor. The CSS edits will be reflected on your published web form. You can find other quick tips on additional ways to style your forms and web forms in our knowledge base at support.crowdscout.com. Now you have the option to send respondents a tailored follow-up email relating to the subject of your web form. I've already created a confirmation appeal, which I'll select right now. Scroll all the way down, click on Next, and then click on the confirmation email. Additionally, you have the option to receive an email alert in your inbox each time a form is submitted. Both options can be configured prior to publishing. Now you're ready to publish your web form. 
Copy the embed code and place the code on the site where you'd like it to appear. CrowdSCAD web forms are hosted, meaning you can use a URL that CrowdSCAD generates for you as a landing page rather than embedding on your site. That's it for today's installment. For more information on web forms, visit our help center or our blog. And of course, you can always chat with us on the platform or via email at customer success at crowdscout.com. Now it's your turn. Good luck.